Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about our girl, Kimmy Cakes. Yes guys, that Incubus and Succubus X knife of yes, because Kim has been caught once again using yes, relevance and trending as well as his wife for clout and attention. When I did that video yesterday outlining what Kimmy Cakes was doing, many people didn't believe it. Many of you guys did. And some people were like, oh, that means Kim did it first. And we're here to talk about all of that, honey, because everyone is calling out Kim at this point for using Ye for clout and attention. So let's get into it right because as you can see from these photos the moment that every media outlet had bianca sensori on their front page and every media was saying bianca was you know spilling out of her clothing and she was looking good and you know all of that talking about ye and bianca in um tokyo japan honey darling guess who decided that they were gonna do some throwbacks and that's Kim. Yeah, you got that right. So when I said to you guys, she was using Bianca's trending moment as an opportunity to promote skim, skims. And not only that, Kim was using it as an, as an opportunity to promote her skims line. You know, many people could not see what I was talking about. Some people were in denial and many of you saw it right off the bat because make no mistakes. I know that my subscribers, they have been rolling with me. And as such, you guys also know on your own without anyone's influence, the things that Kim does and how she does it. Many of you guys have dealt with narcissists personally. So based on that experience that you've had, you know how to read the narcissist play when you see it. So if you had any doubts yes yesterday about what I said and how I explained Kim capitalizing on Bianca's trending moment and using Ye and Bianca's trending moment for clout, honey, today, should seal that damn deal for you if you have if you had any doubt yesterday right i want to encourage you go back and check out that video because it has a lot of information and evidence in it and today is by far no exception today the first thing that, that kim decided that she was going to do was to capitalize on a moment that should be about yay and why this moment should be about yay and just yay and no one else is because the moment that adidas cut ties with yay people were celebrating left right and center and kim too was celebrating because you would say that you would think sorry that you know this woman's um kids empire was taken from them and she would have been sad. She would have been heartbroken and she would have said, you know what? We are going to separate the artist from his challenges. We're going to separate the artist from his problems. Heck no. Mm -mm. She did not do that. She saw this big open wound of Ye, of Ye's at the time as an opportunity to capitalize. And she thought that she would have been in the ranking. She thought she was the new Kanye, and as such, she was rubbing salt in his wounds, and she was there celebrating because she posted a photo, and she ensured that in that photograph, she was wearing a Adidas top, honey, and a pair of Balenciaga boots. Yes, two main collaborators. She ensured that she so um she supported that right so immediately we could see where the agenda of that woman was headed but then after that when she realized that you know what 
This is talent. You cannot cancel naturally born God gifted talent. She was catapulted back, you know, based on her greed, her selfishness, to, you know, act as though she is on his side. The moment that Adidas and Ye was dis um was discussing Yeezys again, she was like, guys, don't judge me for working out in my Yeezys, you know? Knowing that she was the main supporter of the cancellation of Yeezys. Because if you've learned that her kid's IP was stolen, which is the empire that Ye was building for them, and your ex-husband has just been cancelled, and you're going to do that shit, it says a lot about your loyalty and where your agenda lied from the get-go. You were all about you, and you didn't give a rat's ass about the man you marry. You were only there for clout and attention. And the moment that it seemed as though, you know, you could not get any more of that, you were willing and you were a willing participant to throw your soon-to-be ex-husband under the damn bus. But guess what? Yesterday, when Bajor Golden said that, you know what? We cannot take this man's designs because the reality is the Yeezy designs belongs to this man. They did not even use Ye's name in the article because Adidas was being strategic, right? And I said Adidas is being strategic because of two things. It's either their plan to knock off his designs in the future or they're going to re renegotiate. But what I knew for sure yesterday is that Adidas had lost in the mediation to keep Ye's designs. Because if you look at the video that I shared with you guys two weeks ago, the article was there. And I want to encourage you guys, go back and check the articles for yourselves two weeks ago. When Judge Caproni told Adidas lawyer and Ye's lawyer during the mediation that they should be mindful of sensitive details because a journalist could walk in at any moment. And Caproni said, go right ahead. Adidas lawyer started by saying they own the rights to those easy designs. It's there in the article. I'm not telling a lie. It's there, right? So, that was documented by that journalist who walked in at the same time. So that confirmed that Adidas was fighting for that $100 million that they claim they um, deposited to Yeezy bank account for marketing purposes. And I don't know why they would do that, knowing that Yeezy is not in charge of marketing. Adidas is. So that was a lie right there, right? But the point is here that yesterday when Bajarne Golden said they have no intentions of stealing his designs, it means that they have lost the fight to keep the designs in the mediation. But they're playing it smooth. They don't want the world to know that they have lost another legal battle. They're like, oh, the designs belong to... This man, he's the one who created them. That is Adidas, you know, trying to win back Ye's fan base. They're very strategic with what they're doing. They're not just openly admitting that for no reason. They have a plan. They have an agenda. So yesterday was a major win for Ye. I'm getting to the point. Bear with me. I'm getting there. So because yesterday was a major win for Ye, and Yeezy brand, Yeezy sneakerheads, the people who love to see a black man thrive. Because make no mistakes, you know, many people cannot afford a pair of Yeezys. But you, do, you, do you know what they can afford? They can afford to rally their support behind Ye 110%. So many people were cheering on. Many people were happy because... We have seen the numerous reports from Adidas wanting to claim those designs and telling the world that they designed the best-selling Yeezys. So yesterday, when we learned that Yeezy has won another legal battle against Adidas, this fucking bitch is out here today wearing Yeezys. 
That's how Kim capitalizes on Ye. Every single opportunity. And I've been saying it to people. I've been saying it in my videos. And each time I say it, I do provide evidence as proof. You know, Kim and her minions or her minions will say it's a stretch. It's a reach. Even when it is in black and white, that is what Kim is doing. And I said to you guys, if it is profitable for Kim to throw Ye under the bus this week, she's going to throw his ass under the bus without any care or remorse for his mental health. Despite being the woman who came out and told the world that mental health is serious and it should not be made fun of or taken lightly, she is going to do all she can to make that money without any regard for his mental stability, right? And if next week it is profitable for her to cheer her ex-husband on like hell, once it is profitable, she's going to cheer him on. So today, when Kim got up and decided that, you know what? I'm going to wear my Yeezy slides and I'm going to wear a matching skin set with my butt looking like an ant and me looking fake like this Birkin bag that I have in my hand. I'm going to be sure that the paparazzi are there to capture my photograph because it is important for everyone to see that she's wearing Yeezys, know that Ye as cord major victory against Adidas yesterday. And Adidas had to bow down respectfully to Yeezys. She's all of a sudden a cheerleader for Yeezys again. Yay, I'm wearing Yeezys. Look at me, guys, being fake as this damn Birkin in my hands, you know? So that's Kim today. And you want to tell me that? You can't see that Kim keeps using this man? Woo, ciao. Denial is a mother, mother, mother in Egypt, okay? But do not fall victim to Kim's lies. Kim is a narcissist, and she has been doing this for so many years. And when I said to people, Kim is a abuser to Ye, I know many people would not understand that. But when narcissist does that play-by-play, -play, it is abusive. Ain't nothing sweet. Ain't nothing, you know, pleasant about it. It's very harmful and it's very hurtful. And abuse is not just physical. Abuse is psychological. And Ye was being psychologically abused by Kim based on the things that we can see her doing. Based on how she manipulated the kids against him. She weaponized those kids against him. And the world watched that. So if you're still sleeping on the topic of does Kim really mean Ye well? And the answer to that is no. Well, if you still want to sleep, it is up to you. But there's one thing for sure. She's not done. And she will never be done. Because you know what? She realizes that Ye will always be trending. And wherever the sugar goes, She'll be there like that damn big butt ant to take up as much as she can and capitalize off that man. And that's all I have to say about that. See you all next time. Peace.